Today I will be showing you guys how I created this cyborg Halloween makeup look using only Maybelline products. First off, I'm going in with the Super Stay Active Wear Foundation and I'm going to be using that as a base to create a nice, even, flawless base. As you can see right there, the coverage is beautiful and this has up to 30 hour wear time. Next up is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I am going in with that under my eyes to conceal highlights. As you can see, the concealer is beautiful, has beautiful coverage, blends like a dream. I'm also putting this in the center of my forehead, the nose, and the chin just to highlight. Next, I'm using Shadow Blocks Eyeshadow Palette, and this one is North 3rd and Bedford Avenue. And I'm grabbing the darkest shade at the bottom, and I'm using this to create these shadows all over my face. This is going to give me the cyborg look and create the lines in my face. So I'm just creating some lines that I feel like would flatter the shape of my face shadowing some of these areas so they look more depth and more receded. I'm creating this harsh cheekbone and I'm going to bring that down to my jaw. And for the cheekbone, I'm only shading the lines that run horizontal. Next, I'm using another shadow block eyeshadow palette. This one is called 26th and Madison Avenue. I'm using the top white shade and I'm going to use that just to create some highlights on the opposite sides of where I shadowed. So it's gonna create some more contrast and also in the inner corner to give me a little more highlight. Going back in with the concealer, I'm going to run that through my eyebrows so that I can kind of hide my brows, not make them look so noticeable without having to cover them completely and use a bunch of time up for that. So this is a great way to give you almost that bleached brow look. Going back in with that brown eyeshadow, I'm using a thin brush just to create these lines. Um, just to kind of give me that look that I have panels on my face like a robot cyborg does. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using this green eyeshadow and I'm going to put that into my crease creating more of a graphic line in my crease. I'm wanting this to kind of go with all the lines on the face. I didn't want anything too smoky. The next palette I'm going to grab is called 82nd and Park Avenue. I'm going to use the metallic shimmer shade in the middle and I'm going to apply that with my fingertips. And now for the star of the show, the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liners in six new bright shades. These liners are so creamy, they apply so nicely and the pigment is beautiful and amazing. These liners have a 36 hour budge proof wear and they are waterproof. Next, I'm just creating some of these lines that go down my eyes. I'm using the new liners to create these. So as you can see here, I'm just drawing the line. Next, I'm taking a brush and just fluffing it and kind of getting that color to spread a little bit. And then I'm taking the white shade and I'm going to run that down the middle of it very lightly. Then I'm using a brush with some of that product on it and I'm going to tap over the white lines to create that more yellow neon look. So this process is pretty repetitive, so I will just be doing the same process with the rest of the colors. And I'm making sure to kind of switch up the color and the shape and the direction of each line. The next step is to add highlights to these panels that we created. I do want them to look reflective and kind of like plasticky, so I'm adding 
white highlight to any of these areas that I believe the light would be hitting, which is mostly on the edges I'm doing and the center of my nose. For the lips, I'm using the Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to just be filling my lips in with this shade. And what's nice about these liquid lipsticks is they give you a flawless matte finish, like very matte, beautiful, and they last you super long time. They can last you up to 16 hours. So I'm using a second shade here that's just a little bit lighter, and I'm just putting that in the center of my lips. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I love how dark this mascara is and I love how full and luscious my eyelashes look after. And as you can see right here in my little before and after, you can see my lashes have so much more volume. And lastly, I'm just doing some finishing details on my lip and finishing that line and adding a highlight. And there you have it. Here is the Cyborg Halloween makeup look using only Maybelline products.